I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new sneaker review. I wanted to review these shoes that I picked up under retail. I did review these months ago before they released. I had the opportunity to film these before they released. Shout out to my homegirl. You know who you are for holding me down with that. And now we are finally going to get a detailed review and I'm going to show them on feet on these Chuck Posits in the 76ers colorway. This will be my second pair to actually own. I did pick these up when they released, a little bit after they released, and I love these right here. These things were so sick. They do have a lot of technology going on. You got a lot going on on these, man. You know, I mean, look at that shoe, it's just sick. When I reviewed it, I was like, you know what, I really love this shoe. I'm, I'm gonna get this shoe. But then it released, and I was like, you know what, I just bought this, just bought that shoe, or just bought this shoe. I gotta chill, I'll get them next month. And then another shoe came out, I said, you know what, I'll go, I'll go back to this shoe. I'll eventually get this one. And then, by the time I waited, I seen they were just sitting around, and I said, you know what, these are gonna go on sale. I guarantee they're gonna go on sale. And they did, I got these for 160 bucks. So I saved a good amount of money on these right here. You know what, let's go outdoors. I'm gonna review these outside, show them on feet, and then we'll be right back. All right, so here we go with a quick review slash breakdown of the shoe. Over here, as you can see with the midsole and outsole, you've got your hits of red, you've got your hits of blue right here with your glow in the dark splatter by the air unit, and inside is blue, and you have some glow in the dark from the outsole coming up right here. And this right here, this part is from the CB94. And then as you can see right there, you've got your mesh tongue, your straps right here. This is also from like the CB94. Um, you got your logo here and the logos in the back. That's from the CB34. And this like kind of pattern right here kind of reminds me of the Air Max 90 also. And then over here, you got your pull strap. And this logo right here, the Air logo is actually from the CB4. You've got also this jeweled swoosh over here, which pops really, really nice. As you can see here, the foam posit material. And then you've got this upper and this new buck, I think. It may be just some kind of synthetic material, though. And you got your hits of like this silver kind of screen in these circular patterns all over the shoe. You've got your logo right here. I love the blue laces with your hits of red. Nice pop over there. Love that big ass carbon fiber shank too. And then on the outsole, you got the glow in the dark with I'm not a role model classic. Let me show you them on feet and we'll be right back. All right, so here we go with a look on feet. As far as the fit of these, I would say that they run small. I would actually go up half a size on these. I got a nine and a half on the Area 72 because that was the only size available. And I was even thinking about not getting that shoe because of the fact that I thought that it was gonna be too big for my feet. And now that I have these in a size nine, I'm definitely glad that I picked up those Area 72s because those things are sick. So I recommend going up half a size. I mean, I, I mean, I could fit into these. Like, it's not like I'm not gonna be able to wear them, but they definitely are a little snug. The nine and a half fits perfect. So I recommend going up half a size. Keep in mind, everyone's feet is different, so, you know, some people may disagree with me on sizing. That's just my opinion. And I think they look sick on feet. The, that metallic blue shine with that jeweled swoosh by the ankle. A lot of nice pop on this shoe. And you already know what time it is. Got to hit you with that infamous, that infamous. There's a quick glow in the dark test. Glows pretty good. Doesn't glow like the Air Yeezy, but it definitely glows pretty decent. All right, so there you go. You got your detailed look at the shoe, broke the shoe down, showed them on feet, even showed you them glowing in the dark. I hope you enjoyed this video right here. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Check out my blog, sneakeradic.com, morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. My official Twitter is DJ Dells. 
but my official Twitter to the show is the Sneak Addict. So for your sneaker updates, follow there. For just my opinions, DJ Dells. Those are the two Twitters, and my Instagram is Team DJ Dells. And with that said, I'll be back. Really, really.